in-app chat messaging is everywhere these days. An in-app chat helps customers to connect and have chat conversations through your app. Building a chat into your app can be difficult, but with Stream Chat, this becomes easy because it provides you with some out-of-the-box features such as custom attachments, animated tips, and reactions. This tutorial guides you through the easiest way to add a real-time chat to your SwiftUI application using StreamChat SwiftUI SDK. We will begin by creating a blank SwiftUI project in Xcode. We will then add the SwiftUI SDK to the Xcode project using Swift Package Manager. Next, we will set up the chat functionality and connect to a user. Eventually, you will have a fully functional SwiftUI chat application similar to Facebook Messenger or Telegram. Hi, my name is Amos. I'm very excited to be your guide in this tutorial. So I encourage you to keep watching to find out how to get started with the StreamChat SwiftUI SDK to build a real-time chat application for your next iOS app. There are two main resources that accompany this tutorial. The first is this step-by-step -step article that guides you to get up and running with StreamChat SwiftUI. This can be found on the Stream website. The second resource is the Stream SwiftUI SDK on GitHub. Very soon, we will add the SDK to the SwiftUI project. So let's begin by creating an Xcode project for the SwiftUI app. The SwiftUI project will contain the main SwiftUI app, which has two files, SwiftUI chat demo app and app delegate. We will use app delegate to set up the SDK. In the Xcode project, we will fetch the SwiftUI SDK with all its package dependencies, which are Jifu, which provides GIF support for iOS in Swift. There is Nuke, which provides an efficient way to download and display images in your app. There is also Nuke UI, which supports animated GIFs and short videos. Then we have StreamChat and StreamChat SwiftUI. Let's launch Xcode and create the SwiftUI project. I will click Create a new Xcode project. For the platform, we are selecting iOS and App. I will go to Next. I will name the project as SwiftUI Chat Demo and click Next. I will choose a location and click Create. We don't need the right inspector, so I will click on this icon to hide it. When we go to the toolbar, you can see the device is set to iPod Touch 7th generation. We don't need that. Let's change it to iPhone 13. We also don't need the Xcode preview. We can press Option Command and Enter to remove it. To get started with the SDK, we need to fetch it from GitHub. And we have two options to do that. We can use Swift Package Manager, which is already integrated in Xcode. We can also use a third-party dependency manager called CocoaPods. It is recommended to use Swift Package Manager. So let's bring the browser again and go to the location of the SwiftUI SDK. Let's select the URL and copy that. Then we go back to the Xcode project. To bring the SDK, we select File, then choose the option Add Packages. Then we choose GitHub. I have already copied the URL into the clipboard. So let's paste it here. And that brings the SDK from GitHub. For the dependency rule, let's choose branch and leave the option as main. Then we click add package. That will take a while. And click add package again. Looking at the project navigator, you can see we have all the package dependencies I explained earlier in this video. To set up the SDK, we will need an app delegate. Let's click the SwiftUI chat demo folder. Control click and select new file. So I'll go to next and name this file app delegate. To set up the app delegate, we need a basic structure and this can be obtained from the article I showed in the beginning of this video. 
build a Swift UI chat messaging app. Let's scroll down to the section Add an app delegate to your project. All the code snippets I will use in this video can be obtained from this article. So we need this basic structure to set up the app delegate. I will copy it from this icon and go back to the Xcode project. I will select everything here and paste the code. Let's move the app delegate below the SwiftUI chat demo app file. The SwiftUI app we are creating here needs to get the information about the SDK. And to do that, we have to use the file SwiftUI chat demo. So in this file, we are going to do three things. First, we will add the imports stream chat and stream chat SwiftUI. Then we add an adapter. The adapter will act as a wrapper between the SwiftUI app and the SDK. This will help them to collaborate together. Then the last thing to do in the file will be setting the home screen. This is the screen that will be displayed when the app runs. So let's add the imports, stream chat and stream chat Swift UI. Secondly, we will add the adapter. So this line of code declares the app delegate to the Swift UI SDK. Doing this causes the app delegate to receive lifecycle callbacks that are happening within the lifecycle of the app. When the app runs, content view will be the screen that will be displayed as the home screen. But we want to replace this with the chat channel list view. So this is all we need to do in this file to be able to connect the SDK to the Swift UI application. Let's move on to app delegate to set up the SDK. So in the app delegate, we will add a basic structure. Then we will add a context provider, set up the chat client, and also enable offline mode. Finally, we will connect to a specific user. Let's begin by adding context provider. The SDK depends on a low level chat client. So let's add it and use the context provider we just added to initialize the chat client when the app starts. Then we need to create the low level chat client and initialize it with a hard coded API key. This provides all the information needed to lay out and draw the views correctly. It also allows us to customize the views. In an actual production environment, you will need your own API key provided by Stream. You can obtain an API key from Stream dashboard. What we have to do next is to pass the low level client we just created as a parameter of the chat client. So we have now set up the chat client to connect to the SDK. One of the best features in the latest release of the Swift UI SDK is the support for offline mode. This allows you to browse channels and send messages while offline. Since we have created the low level chat client, we can set it up to enable offline mode. We can do this by setting the Boolean is local storage enabled to true. So this line will allow you to use the chat in offline mode. When we start the app, we need to initialize the stream chat client we created. If this is not done, the SDK will crash because it carries out all the initializations for the SDK to function properly. To do this, we use the function that finish launching with options. So in the closure of this function, I'm going to paste this line of code. What we have to do next is to connect a specific user. To do that, we need to get the user credentials, feed them into the SDK and connect to the back end as an authenticated user. To keep things simple, we are going to work with a hard coded user credentials in a function called connect user. So over here, I'm going to paste this line of code. You can get all the code snippets used in this video from the blog post I showed in the beginning of this video. You can see over here, we are using a hard coded token. This hard-coded token is valid only on Stream's tutorial environment. 
The chat clients connect to the user to the back end with the hard-coded token. In production, when the user logs in, the app will load the token from the user's back end because this will be a dynamic parameter in a real-world situation. Since the token must contain a value, you can see here we have the try keyword with an exclamation mark. We use this to force unwrap the value. In this section, we use the chat client to connect to the user. You have noticed here, this gets the user ID, the username, and avatar. And in this section, we do a basic error handling. Lastly, when the app starts, we need to call this connect user function over here. And this is all we need to do to set up the SDK to work successfully. We can now run the app to see what we have done. So we can browse the channel list and perform actions on them, such as deleting or clicking this to reveal more options. Tapping any of the list items displays the message list. The message list has different kinds of message items, for example, images. You can see we have PDF files and other file formats as well. You can send a message using the message composer. Tapping and holding incoming or outgoing message brings the context menu and reactions. So we can use the context menu to reply to a message, reply to thread, pin to conversations, flag message or mute the user. So this is how you can easily add real-time chat messaging to your next SwiftUI chat application using StreamChat SwiftUI SDK. To recap, in this tutorial, you learn how to add the StreamChat SwiftUI SDK as a dependency to your SwiftUI project using Swift Package Manager. You learn how to create a root object to manage lifecycle events of the app. You learn how to link the root object to the SwiftUI application and connect to an authenticated user to create a fully functional chat application. You can try StreamChat for free for 30 days or apply for your Maker account, which is free forever for qualifying teams. Thanks for watching.